Yo, what's going on, y'all? I'm Cavell Anderson, and we're back with another VV and Ecomi video. And this one will be focusing on the Omi token. Now, I've been seeing a lot of it's a shit coin, it's going nowhere, and things like that. Needless to say, people are disappointed. And what you have to understand about this project is this was a project that really brought people in because of the IPs and brands. So it introduced a lot of beginners into the space and then a lot of experts as well. So we do have some of the community that's experts who just rather would not be in the token because they have the experience to make money elsewhere if they're diversified. So if you're gonna make more money elsewhere as opposed to waiting forever for Vivi to deliver results when you have a bull run going on, the experienced people are just gonna dip out and make money elsewhere which that's where diversification comes in. So shout out to everybody invested in IMX, AVEX, you know, like we've been seeing some gains, but besides that, um, yeah, like that's what the experienced people are gonna do. And then you have the people who are just holding Omi and they're just very, very disappointed because they don't understand why it's not moving, not understanding that it's not going to move just because the bull run um, or, or a bull run is coming. Like it's not, I don't even believe it's officially started yet, but the fact of the matter is a lot of people understand what's going on and decided to make money elsewhere. A lot of people still don't know what's going on. So I want to break it down. Um, where do I think the Omi token can go? No one can tell you that right now. It's not, no no one could tell you that right now. And the, the reason is the entire fundamentals of this project have changed. Like people tell you, people want to say that, oh, nothing has changed, all this stuff. It sounds good to say that, but the reality is a lot has changed. That's what most of us have seen. That's why most of us have, have switched from bullish to bears because now we just don't have information on what's going to drive the value of the OMI token. Before, we understood it. The OMI token was gonna be involved in every transaction going on through VV. The OMI token, like every, everything was gonna burn the OMI token. The, the OMI token was gonna have all these burn mechanisms that got that supply down. The token was gonna become scarce. Like, it's so many things that was supposed to happen that no longer can happen, whether it's, it's because of regulations has changed it or VV just sees that something is not possible. And honestly, the metaverse was a big driving factor in that as well. And now it doesn't look like VV is going to be able to create a metaverse up to par with even what something like Fortnite is doing. So what's going to be VV's secret sauce that makes people want to play in the VV-verse all day? And it's never going to be to the caliber of a Ready Player One, which is what they promised. And if VV can get themselves into a deal with a Ready Player One caliber, um, caliber project, why would that project have the OMI token be a prominent form of payment within their project? Like if if VV gets put into Fortnite, why wouldn't Fortnite make their V bucks their primary crypto? Why would they Why would they let Omi token be a primary? You know, so there's so many questions unanswered now because what we were promised was VV was going to be that Ready Player One. Turns out VV is not capable of creating that. And it was people who saw that years ago who never believed VV could do it. And now that these other AAA companies are starting to come out here and create these metaverses and we see what VV has has teased after all these years, it's not impressive because they they took so long to release anything and now everything is just, everything they release, it's just inferior to everything that already exists. People are starting to get a very clear picture that VV cannot compete in that realm. So now they'll, their best bet is to partner, but what role is the Omi token gonna play if they partner? Because now you have to convince this other company to get, you know, put make your token prominent throughout their metaverse. So the question is, why would this token hold value now? And I believe that that has an answer, but I don't even know if Vivi has figured that out yet because this is the part of business that is important. You have to answer these questions. It, once things change, once you have to pivot, now you have to fix everything that was associated with, with whatever it is that's being changed. So now the Omi token success was dependent on the Viviverse and the Viviverse doesn't look like it's going to be able to match other, or, or, unless the Viviverse is gonna be some specialized AR experience where that would be probably be unique to Vivi. Like that, uh, a crazy AR experience, some type of game like Pokemon Go type of thing. Like someone has said that that could be the route Vivi takes. And I agree that that could be unique, that could be different because people are not focusing on trying to build that right now. A lot of people are still not doing the AR thing. So if the AR thing is VV's lane, that's fine, but it's still speculation. 
we don't know for certain. We know for certain that they said they were trying to build Ready Player One. We also know for certain it does not look like that's possible for them. So now we're at this place where it's just a lot of questions. We have more questions than we have answers. So back then, I could tell you all, oh, when you can buy the OMI token, or when you can buy collectibles using the OMI token, OMI to NFT, boom, that's going to be raising the price. Oh, then you can have it in the metaverse. Oh, then maybe they'll Ready Player One had gambling. So maybe VB will create and open a gambling side of things where you could gamble. Like you could speculate on all the things that could come when the standard was we're creating Ready Player One. Now that it's not likely that that's even going to happen, now you have to get down to what's realistic. What is realistic? Them partnering with a company. What would a partnership including the OMI token look like? So I feel like it's so many unanswered questions and then we can't get the, the the special metaverse pumps, the metaverse coin pumps, we can't get those because the OMI token isn't even listed on exchanges. The OMI token isn't listed on exchanges. Now, I think the saving grace for the OMI token is the fact that it's, it's easily marketable. It's associated with some of the biggest brands in human history. It's easily marketable for that reason. It's a, it's a token associated with a company that holds the biggest brands ever. That is very easy to market. So if they drop on an exchange at the right time, the news gets out that a Disney partner's token just listed on the exchange. Like, if the right article get written, the right videos get made, and the right amount of excitement, yes, you can see some pumps happen for that reason as it starts to get dropped on exchanges. And I do believe that it will hold more value once it gets dropped on exchanges because as it starts to get dropped on exchanges, it builds more trust. Because at this point in time, even a shit coin can get listed on exchanges and it looks like the OMI token can't. So that narrative gets thrown out of the window that, oh, there's something wrong with this OMI token as soon as they start listing on exchanges. So now older people who are investing in the OMI token, you may be willing to hold five, 10 years now, now that you see, okay, that I can trust this a little bit more because they're on exchanges now. So we don't get these special pump, like everyone wants to make the argument, oh, the OMI token isn't moving with the rest of the market. The OMI token is not on the exchanges that the rest of the market is on. So the OMI token cannot move with the rest of the market. It's impossible. It's not enough people who get, the market can't even touch the OMI token. So how could it move with the market? The people who are holding the OMI token are long-term holders, people who understand it. And, and that's that's just what we have invested in the OMI token right now. So why would we be seeing some insane, crazy pumps? And then the 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 with the state of things, one person could really move the price of the OMI token by themselves. Like, so people get super excited. Oh, the OMI token is going up. The OMI token is going down. Like, oh, yay, oh. And not realizing that one man most of the time can make these big awe oh, moments happen whether it's going up or down. So any movement right now from the OMI token isn't very impressive to me. It's not it's not impressive to me right now. And then you have a ton of people holding the OMI token where when it, once it starts going up, a lot of people are gonna start dumping their token more than likely. I think that it's going to be a long ride for the OMI token and there's just so much surrounding the OMI token that we need to understand that needs to be established. And I think that Vivi may potentially need a whole new plan they may need an, a whole new use case. They, they may need to, or maybe they have a plan that they just don't want to speak on right now. Who knows? But the information that we once had to suggest that the OMI token could be a very valuable token and it could, it could, you know, be, it could be valuable. We don't have that same amount of information. We don't have, we don't have that clarity surrounding the token anymore. Um, we know that we don't have exchanges. You know, we know we don't have those exchanges. We know that we probably aren't going to be getting a Ready Player One type metaverse. Um, we know that they could get partnered, but we don't know what that would do to the token. We don't know how the tokenomics is really going to work. We have less information now about the OMI token than we had when the project first came out because everything that they promised was either not delivered or can't be done. So we're at a place where the OMI token really isn't, I don't say, I, it's a business. There's a point in most businesses where you have to pivot to, and become something more. I think that the OMI token is going to become something more, but what is something more? I think before you can answer the question of what is more when it comes down to the OMI token, 
you have to ask yourself what is more when it comes down to Vivi, because the mass markets are not going to just be jumping on Vivi to pay tens of thousands of dollars for these collectibles that you all hold valuable. No one cares. I would rather play with Fortnite characters who has the same IP as you all for free. I would rather hold Fortnite characters for free that comes with the utility of playing in a metaverse and it's fun. The utility is fun, it's exciting. I can play with my friends on Fortnite. I would rather hold that than a $10,000 Spider-Man. I would rather hold the Spider-Man on Fortnite that that's what, $10 than to hold a $10,000 Spider-Man. Outside of the fact that it's worth $10,000. But that don't mean I would come out of pocket paying $10,000 for it just because, oh, anybody would want a free $10,000, but that don't mean that they're gonna come out. Like, why do that? When you can buy every skin on Fortnite for that same amount of money. You got everything on Fortnite and it also comes with a ton of utility. This is why utility will be king. To the true collectors, yeah, people are going to be people are going to be convincing one another that these old relic things on Vivi are valuable. But NFTs in themselves are designed to have utility. It's designed to do things and bring value. So, what value are the Vivi NFTs going to bring? The first appearances and things like that, that's stuff that only collectors will ever care about. So, it's a very small niche community. Just like in real life, only like no one cares. No one cares in the grand scheme of things. <clears throat> so either Vivi, Vivi was talking about metaverse ready player one and things like that. That's what caught the attention, my attention. If it was like just a collector's platform where it was all like, I would have never been as excited because yes, there's going to be some there's going to be some grail pieces on Vivi, but that does not mean that just because there's a few grail pieces that the Omi token is suddenly going to be successful. So having successful NFTs on Vivi does not mean that the Omi token is now a valuable token. If all Vivi has is just a few good pieces, the Omi token is done for. And that's what I mean by there needs to be a pivot. There needs to be something that makes people want to stay around vv the vv verse make people want to make transactions and then there needs to be utilities and things tied to the omi token there needs to be more bringing including the inclu that's inclusive of the omi token because without it the omi token it really is going to hold no value so it's hard to say what the what the value of this token is going to be i think that it, it is going to be something but i don't think that we know I don't think that we're gonna we're gonna know what it is. I think that there's there a business still building. There are business still built still building, and I don't even think they know. Or if they know, it's probably just a rough thing where it's like, uh. So yeah, that's pretty much it, man. That's pretty much it. I just wanted to give my thoughts on the Omi token. Like I said, I don't think that it's done. I don't think that it's just completely dead. I think that we can see a little bit of growth. Like once we pop on some exchanges, there'll be some money to be made with the OMI token. But I think we're a long way off of understanding why the OMI token is valuable um, and putting it into place to become more and more valuable based on based on the, the merits of the project. Like this is a token that's going to rise the more clarity that's surrounding the things that makes it valuable, like, the, like it was at the beginning. Back when the Omi token was popping, we understood why it was, well, we understood what they said. Now we can no longer trust just what they say. We have to trust what they do. We don't even know what they're gonna do. So yeah, let me know what you all think. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Let me know if you're, I'm missing something, if I don't understand something. I definitely wanna hear clarifications and what other people think. Um, Like I said, I'm open to all information, but I will be doing a video soon on some of my other holdings. Um. The rest of the space is blowing up. There's a lot of money to be made out here. So there is other opportunities that, that I'm profiting from and I know a lot of people are profiting from right now. So yeah, let me know what you all think. Be sure to drop that thumbs up, subscribe and turn on notifications and I will catch you all on the next one. Peace out fam.